today I'm going to demonstrate how to integrate GitHub Actions with AWS account. For example, using GitHub workflows, I want to upload Docker images to ACR. We need access for this. There are several ways to do this. I'm going to explain a couple of ways. First one is by generating access keys and secret keys manually. Second one is using open id connect in open id connect we don't create access keys secret keys by ourselves behind the scenes github actions can talk to aws get temporary tokens and perform the operations on amazon web services let's get started let's see the first approach in this approach we are going to create im user generate access keys and secret keys configure these keys in github action let's go ahead go to identity and access management go to users create user let me call this github actions demo I don't need AWS management console access. Go next. I want to attach policy directly. Let's say GitHub actions want access to ECR. Create a custom policy and provide only required access. To keep this demo simple, I'm going with administrator access, which may not be a recommended in real world. Again, I repeat, create policy with specific permissions. Let's go ahead and create user. Open this user. Click on security credentials, right? Generate access keys. Click here. Tags I don't want. Generate keys. We got access key, secret access key. I'm going to configure these keys in GitHub Action. I'm taking one sample application. Let's do one thing. Let's create a brand new repository for this. Let me call this uh, AWS GitHub Actions Demo. I'm keeping it public. You guys can uh, um, use this as a reference. Go to settings. Because, right, I want to configure secrets for this repository. Click on secrets and variables. I want those keys to be available for actions right under repository secrets create new repository secret let's give a name let's choose aws access key id get the secret for the key this one copy paste it add secret likewise Create one more. It is AWS secret access key. Copy. Paste. Add. Now let's create GitHub Actions for this repository. Go to Actions. Let me configure a simple workflow. Remove entire stuff. So I got this code. Name of the workflow. All right. When this workflow should trigger jobs. I mean, the name I have given is check access. We are using Ubuntu. Uh, and in the steps, I am checking out the code. Imagine we are 
checking out react.js code of course this is not react.js application the only idea of this demo is to show you how to integrate github actions with aws come down and see this one we are configuring aws credentials we are using a particular workflow for that then we are giving access key id we are reading it from secrets we configured in previous step we are accessing secret access key this is also coming from the secret i did not configure region in the secret let me hard code this in the next step right i am verifying aws credentials i mean i am running this command inside github actions if it gets information which concludes github action is having access to aws let's commit this commit now it got triggered let's open this job and notice this we are running aws sts get caller identity it's giving us user id account a or n of the user which means github actions is able to perform operations on aws services this is approach number one in this approach the problem is we manually create keys we manually configure them maybe after three months or six months we may have to rotate them means generate new keys replace old keys with new keys so this is a maintenance overhead now let us go into step two i mean the approach to where we use open id connect so here the advantage is in the background github actions will make a call to aws gets temporary tokens which we even don't see so every time it wants to connect it gets the temporary tokens perform the operation and just throw it off let's see how to configure open id connect so i'm here on uh, github documentation which guides us to configure open id connect in amazon web service all right So let's add the identity provider to Amazon Web Services. Go to IAM dashboard, click on identity providers, select open ID connect, provide the provider URL, copy from here. And also configure audience, get it from here. Tags not necessary now. Add provider. Next step is assign role. This role decides who can use this identity provider. So click on assign role. Yeah, create new role. Choose web identity. Select the identity provider. Select the audience. Provide github organization that is java home tech and also provide the github repository which should get access let's go here this is the repository you also can mention which branches can use this web identity i'm leaving blank which means all branches if you leave blank here again it means all repositories in the organization go next for the sake of simplicity i'm selecting administrator access but in real world make sure you create custom policy which allows only the operations github has to perform go next 
give a name github actions open id demo come down create i a m role now let's see the further steps so these things are configured yeah now how to use this open id connect in github actions workflow yeah we're going to use this one go to github actions workflow file edit It is uh, configure AWS credentials, right? We are not using this guy. Let me hard code the region. This is no more required because we are not using access keys, secret keys directly. We are using Open ID Connect. So now provide the role A R N. This one copy a r n this is just a name so previously we used access case secret case directly now we are using open id connect see we don't need to configure access keys and secret in settings we added variables right those variables also not required got it now commit commit this it should auto trigger github actions okay invalid workflow file could be some error It says bad indentation. Okay, got it. Commit. Go to actions. Yeah. Open this. Okay, it is failing. Let's see why it is failing. Okay, it's saying it looks like you might be trying to authenticate with OIDC, Open ID Connect. Did you mean to set the ID token permission? Yeah, this is missing. Yeah, in the document, we need to have this one, right, after name, permissions, right, go to workflow file, edit, it's coming above jobs, yeah, permissions, ID token, which is for open ID connect. I'm saying write, commit. Do commit. Go to actions. Wait for this job to finish. Perfect. It is working well. This is the second approach. Second approach is the recommended approach. Thanks for watching. For more such um, videos, please subscribe.